Gold's a great store of value if you never need to flee a country. Next on your 4-Minute Crypto Show. Today's show is from a post by Rick Delafont at NewsBTC and brought to you by Swan Bitcoin. Now, historically speaking, gold is the most enduring store of value the world has ever known. However, there's a new kid on the block, Bitcoin. Now, gold served its purpose in the days when taking a trip outside the borders of your home country was a serious undertaking. But the modern world is starting to make the precious metal look a little outdated. In an age where technology allows people and information to travel much more readily than ever before, shouldn't value be as easy to move to? Gold's shortcomings have once again been exposed. Dutch authorities arrested a Brazilian man carrying around 15 kilos of gold worth almost $800,000 and it was in his luggage. The man reportedly struggled to explain why he was carrying such a large quantity of gold, so he was detained and the Dutch customs are investigating the case. Now, I'm not making the case whether the official should or shouldn't have seized the gold, just that this is an example that clearly shows Bitcoin possesses qualities that gold does not. Now, it wasn't by chance that gold rose to the top of monetary technologies many centuries ago. Being almost impossible to reproduce and difficult to mine, the precious metal represents a sounder form of money than any competing monetary technology of the pre-Bitcoin era. Gold served the planet well as a store of value, although not entirely free from price manipulation, no single entity can suddenly decide to inflate its supply. That made it a great form of money and previously the best. However, the world is a very different place today compared to what it was when gold was rising to prominence, with most people living their entire lives within a short radius of where they were born. Gold, well, it didn't really need to be a great traveler. Now these days, goods, people, and even data can travel the world much more readily than ever before in history. Before Bitcoin, monetary technology had not really advanced to suit our new, smaller planet. However, since Satoshi Nakamoto launched the first viable digital asset more than a decade ago, Bitcoin has slowly but surely been redefining what money is. It demonstrates that assets do not need a physical form for a market to value them. Lacking a physical form also makes Bitcoin possibly the most revolutionary advancement in modern technology ever. As this example show had, the Brazilian man favored Bitcoin as his store of value over gold, perhaps he could have avoided his current situation completely. Now I keep hearing that Bitcoin is digital gold. Well, maybe this is a great example of that. Let me know what you think about it in the comments at all, as always. And if you enjoy these episodes I produce for you, please Take a moment and subscribe to the show at 4minutecrypto.com slash subscribe for a new episode of the show every weekday. Maybe leave a great comment or a great review while you're subscribing. Now, let me tell you about my sponsor, Swan Bitcoin. Swan is Bitcoin investing made easy. Buy automatically every week, every month, or every paycheck starting with as little as $5. You see, timing the market, well, that's hard. And Swan's savings options steady convert your dollars into Bitcoin savings with dollar cost averaging. Swan is dedicated to becoming the best way to buy and invest in Bitcoin. I personally truly believe in Swan Bitcoin. That's why I joined them as an advisor and even own a small piece of the company. Now, take a look today at swanbitcoin.com. I'm Gary Leland, the Bitcoin Boomer, and thanks for joining me on another 4-Minute Crypto Show. This has been a CryptoPodcaster.com production.